हारे हरे राम What's his name? Nishinta. Nishinta, yeah. Oh, I know him so. Yeah, yeah. His wife, everybody. Man. Yeah. Oh God, no, I didn't know. Oh, All right. Please. Tell Guru Dave that Chinpapa is here. <laughs> oh, he yeah, immediately knows. Yeah, yeah. Prabhupada. He immediately knows. Yeah. Please watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get it out of your way, Maharaj. Wow. Oh, hey, that was nice how you showered it with flowers. Yeah, yeah. Prabhu? Maharaj, yeah, that's nice how you threw all those flowers over there. Gosh. The purity on it. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you. Prabhu. No, I'm not. Wow. Oh, if I was earlier, I mean, I couldn't see anybody because I was back there. Uh -huh. Yeah, we were. Come out in the street, they would have said. We just heard the. Uh, Nobody stopped Gurudev to let him know the Prabhupada was right there. I kept honking, everybody was like. absorbed in. I know. Yeah, it's too late. I watched Gurudev go right past and all these devotees. Uh -huh. Didn't you think you should. Add, you don't have to take it.
Wow, he's, he's catching the flower. Haribo! <laughs> <laughs> Too good, Dave. Very first no, time. I've seen him. I've seen him in uh, Vrindavan going to Prabhupada's room, but I never met him. Yeah, like, since for years. Right. Yeah. Did anybody introduce you? Yeah. I introduced him. Yeah. Oh, you waved? Did you see that? Yeah. He just Shh. waved. Wait a minute. I turned too early. Yeah, and he just waved. Oh my goodness. We missed it. I don't know what he got here. Did you see Gurudev just wave? I didn't see him. I missed it. Wow. Oh, it's actually good what I, what I turned. Yeah. It's, well, so I you didn't it. have to avoid all this traffic right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you better see me. <laughs> Thanks, Brady. It's good to see you too. Let's go back to India, actually. I know. How long have you been here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
वेरी जय गोपाल स्टैंड अप जय गोपाल My heartly blessings to you. This is all of your books and also all of Shil Prabhupada's books that are authorized and approved. Thank you. So now people can get catalog and order from the catalog. Okay. Oh, we also put in the back of the book. These are the devotees who have taken at least two cases of all the books so they can provide for people in their area all of your books and all of Shri Prabhupada's books. They can order. Yes, they can order by phone, by internet, by... And also, uh, right after class, these will be available. These will be available at the book table. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> But in my guru, yeah. Any, I can bring another thing. Yeah. Here's bring it. Yeah, I broke that. Daddy Ball! More than, I can give him another set. Yes, please. Okay, again. Yeah. Oh, he's projecting. Oh, he is projecting. Uh, yes. uh, <laughs> Ball! We are all very happy. Yari
Shraddha has been called the unwavering conviction that simply by engaging in the angas of bhakti, shavanam, kirtanam, smarnam, pada, sevanam, asnam, vanam, dasam, satam, atmani, vedanam, simply by performing these things, every other type of obligation, every other type of responsibility has been completely performed. There's nothing else to do. When a person is convinced that his only obligation, his only duty in life is the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Parabrahma, Paratattva, the Supreme Absolute Truth, and that the service of all those things which are not the Absolute Truth, should be given up. Oh, then this is called Shraddha, faith. In Amnai Sutra, there Srila Bhakti no Thakur also defined faith. He said, Shraddha Tanyanyo Varajam Bhakti Unmukhi Chitta Vritti Vishesh. Chitta Vritti Vishesh. Shraddha or faith means that very special disposition of the heart which remains forever inclined towards acts of loving service. 
The heart is always inclined, has that disposition to serve Krishna at every moment. And Anyo Varjam, to leave behind all types of karma, activities which are performed for the sake of getting some remuneration, motivating activities. And Gyan, the performance of activities or the cultivation of knowledge and philosophy with the aim and object of becoming freed from the miseries of this world and freed from the cycle of birth and death, mukti. And activities such as the performance of yoga for the accumulation of siddhi, mystic powers, the performance of activities for heaven, elevation to heavenly planets, all these types of uh, activities, karma, gyan, yoga, all are completely discarded because the heart is specifically inclined only towards acts of loving service. This is called Shraddha. When this Shraddha is present in the heart, in the next sutra, Srila Bhakti Nautako explains, Sacha Sharnapati Lakshanam, the symptom of a person in whose heart this Shraddha has appeared. They have an outer symptom that is called Sharnapati or Sharnagati. They have unconditional surrender. If this faith has come, then they are very careful to protect it. Because it's such a valuable thing. Just as we see when the devotees come to India, they're always worried. Where's my passport? Is it still there? My travel's checks. They're checking. They want to look after these things very carefully. So if someone has Radha, really, then they take care of it. How? Anukul Yasya Sankalpa. They have a very firm vow to accept everything in their life which is favorable for progress in devotional service. Pratikul Yasha Viparajanam. And unequivocally, without looking back, they walk away from everything which may be detrimental to the development of pure devotional service. And Rakshishatiti Vishwaso Gotitwe Barnam Tata. They're not afraid of what will happen to them in the future. Who will maintain me when I grow old? Mm -hmm. These kinds of thoughts and feelings, they don't come. Why? Krishna is my maintainer. Gotitwe Barnam Tata. He will maintain me. Rakshishatiti Vishwaso. And if there's any danger, if any very mm, life threatening calamity will approach them, then what will they do? Take out their gun. No. <laughs> Only one thing. Pray to Krishna. Why? Because Krishna will always protect me. If Krishna wants to protect me, no one can harm me. If someone wants to harm me, Krishna wants to harm me. No one can protect me. So, no fear at all. And, they have no independence, self-interest. Their life of 24 hours a day is only meant for the service of Krishna. They have no uh, other agenda. They have no other um, activities, no other schedule or ambitions outside of the ambition to serve Guru, Hari Guru and Vaishnavas. This is called Atmanik Shnepanam. To give up the mood of independence. And Karpanya means humility. They are very humble. They give respect to others. And this humility is also characterized by the feeling I have not understood Siddhanta. I don't know the Shastra. I am bereft of a clear knowledge. And another aspect of humility, or oh, because of my uh, wicked, wicked activities of the past, I am bereft of the association of sadhus. Eheno Durjana Sadjana Varjita. I am bereft of the association of qualified devotees, the near and dear family members of Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, when a person has this Shraddha in his heart, then it will be characterized outwardly by their surrender. And the internal characteristic of that Shraddha, the internal aspect, that is called Bhakti Lata Beach, the seed of devotion. Its internal characteristic is Krishna Seva Vasana, the desire to serve Krishna. How does it come? Brahmanda Brahmate Kon Bhagavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai 
Bhakti Lata Bij, the seed of the creeper of the devotion, comes when a living entity has been wandering throughout the universe in many, many lifetimes. Sometimes, by accident, he may honor some Mahaprasadam. By accident, he may uh, do Parikrama in a holy place or fast on a Kadasi. There are many examples given in Shastra. And knowingly or unknowingly, he accumulates Sukriti, some pious credits. And when this Sukriti reaches a critical mass, the result of this Sukriti is that he comes face to face with the Sakshat Harit Tvena Samasta Shastre Uptastata Bhavyata Evasadvi Kintu Praboya Priya Evatasya Bande Goro Sri Charana Ravindam. He comes face to face with Sakshat Hari, that personality who is cent percent engaged in the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is a complete and perfect instrument in the hands of the Lord, who is a transparent via medium, who can completely and perfectly represent the uh, conception of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the Acharyas. He meets that person. And by the influence of that person, Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. By associating with him, Bhaktis tu Bhagavat Sangha, Bhaktis tu Bhagavat Bhakta Sangha na Parijayate. The only cause of the awakening of Bhakti in its most rudimentary form, in the form of Shraddha, is the association of the devotee. The Dati Pratigrinati Gui Makati Prititi Punte Bhojayate Chaiva Sadhida Priti Lakshanam. He has Sadhu Sangha. What is this Sadhu Sangha? Not an ordinary thing. First of all, sadhu. Sadnoti, sadhayati cha, Krishna Prem iti, sadhu. Sadhu is that person. He is related to sadvastu, the eternal supreme reality, see Krishna. Kintu prabhoya priya evatasya, very near and intimate associate of Krishna. And sadhu is that person who themselves, they are deeply absorbed in their sadhan bhajan. And by their instructions, they adjust our life so that we can also understand what is the actual line of pure sadhan. So that we can come in contact with the very live and invigorating current of Braja Prem. That person is called sadhu. And what is sangha? Samya krupen anugaman. Samya krupen. To completely follow. When we have the chance to come in contact with such a high class of pure devotee, then that person, he tries to surrender himself there unconditionally and follow externally and externally by his activities and internally by uh, uh, having rendered service and praying to Guru that the internal moods of Guru will gradually begin to manifest within his heart. So by this Sadhu Sangha, faith is acquired and this faith gradually, gradually begins to grow. Actually, Adho Sraddha Tata Sadhu Sangatha Bhajana Kriya Tato Nata Nivrishishya Tata Nishta Ruchis Tata Tata Asat Aktak Saktis Tata Bhava Prema Vyudantite Sadakayamayam Prema Pradubhavay Bhavet Kramaha From the stage of Sraddha up to Prem and up to Sneha Man Pranaya up to Mahabhav all of this is one substance only. It's only one substance. Hmm? What is this? This is the vritti or the function, the activity of Krishna's internal potency. Samvit Shakti and Hladini Shakti. It is one substance. So the living entity who receives this Shraddha, this faith, he is very fortunate. Because if you take care of it very carefully, hmm? how? By following the orders of Guru and Vaishnava. And also by keeping a fence around his newly sprouting creeper in the form of good association. If he will not make a fence around this sprouting creeper, then he'll get bad association. And in the association of those who have no inclination towards Shuddha Bhakti, completely pure and unmixed Bhakti, there will be a barrage of Aparad, so many offenses. And it will come like the Hakimata, a mad elephant, and completely smash, destroy, uproot everything before it even begun. Therefore, the, those who have Shraddha, 
They try to protect it. This shraddha is of two types. If a person has some faith, they have some faith in God and think, I want to serve Him. This is not the sign that this shraddha is transcendental. It may be lokik shraddha, lokik shraddha. That means worldly conviction. It is coming from their mind. There are so many people in this world who have faith in something. Some people have faith in money, but this is not shraddha. So some people also have faith in Bhagavan, but this faith in God is not transcendental. It may be a material kind of conviction coming from the mind and intelligence. What is the sign that it is transcendental? They have respect for Guru, but they also respect Vaishnav. In fact, when a living entity develops honor for all the paraphernalia of the Chinmoy Tattva, of the transcendental reality, at that time, his faith is considered to be genuine. That is called Paramatik Shraddha. Paramatik Shraddha causes such a strong conviction that that person will become so <coughs> determined and they cannot be deviated from the path of progress. Like Prahlad Maharaj, his father tried to throw him from the top of mountains, throw him under the feet of stampeding elephants, and give him poison, put him in fire, but he could not give up his hearing, chanting and remembering. Srila Haridas Thakur was brought be before the Muslim king. He said, stop chanting this name of the Hindu God, otherwise there will be very severe repercussions for you. Srila Haridas Thakur replied, Kanda kanda hai daya jai jari pram Thabu ami parani na chari hari nam Oh my, your majesty, you may cut my body into thousands of pieces and I may give up my pran, my life air. But one thing is for certain, that my tongue cannot give up the chanting of this name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 Krishna Hare Hare, 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 Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Paramatik Shadra is like this. It has no um, fear or um, um, rivals in this material world. It causes the heart to be disposed very clearly towards the service of Krishna. But this Paramatik Shraddha is also of two types. One type is Shastra Artha Avadharni Mai Shraddha. And the other type is called Bhagavat Lila Madhurya Loba Mai Shraddha. The first type, Shastra Artha Avadharni Mai Shraddha, means that if a living entity coming into the association of devotees hears that, Oh my dear brother, you are not this physical body. You are transcendental. You are Atma. The soul, you are eternal and you are part and parcel of God. Because you have forgotten the Supreme Lord, therefore you are suffering in the endless chain of birth and death, sufferings and sorrows. Therefore, I will give up your sleepiness and engage yourself in the service of God, because this is your duty. You are part of God, and just as the hand being part of the body should serve the body, so the soul being part of God should serve the Lord. That person. He is this Qatar and he thinks, yes, this is my real duty in life. I should serve the Supreme Personality of it because I'm his part. And if I don't, uh-oh, I have to take birth again. I have to go to school again. I have to fall in love again. Oh, no. And he's afraid. He's afraid of this material existence. So, on the one hand, it's his duty that he should serve God. So he does his duty, and on the other hand, he has some fear of the sufferings of this world. So he engages in bhakti. This type of faith, Shastra Artha Avadharna Mahi Shastra, the faith which is based on uh, some fear of the discipline, which is explained in the scriptures, this is the eligibility to begin the path of Vaidhi Bhakti, a regulative devotional service which gradually grows and develops Nishta Ruchi Asakti Vaikuntha Bhav. Mm -hmm. It comes to the level of uh, emotional uh, attachment and loving sentiments for the Supreme Lord of Vaikuntha, the realm of opulence. On the other hand, if a living entity, mm -hmm. by good fortune, somehow or other, wanders into the assembly, wherein there is a very uh, Siddhanta Vit, a Rasik, Braja Rasik, a Rupanuga Vaishnav, who is oh, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati, saturated from head to toe in only Ras, Ras and Ras. 
the sweet transcendental loving affection between Radha and Krishna. That person, his heart is absorbed. If he speaks, only very sweet nectar is coming. Hmm? Even if he does not speak, that mood is emanating from the atoms of his body even. So if the living entity will have the chance to associate with such a person, hmm? and hearing the pastimes of Krishna, then one hmm, obsession comes and begins to uh, pervade their mind. They become obsessed. Ragatmi kaika nishta ye brajabasi janadishu tesam bhava pyute lobda Tatradik Bhavet Tatradi Karavan Srila Rupa Goswami Pad said, hearing about the bridge verses, how the friends of Krishna they can wrestle with him, how they can give him their own remnants, mm? or hearing how Madhya Shoda feeds Krishna her breast milk, how she can chastise him and twist his ear, mm? or hearing how the gopis of Vrindavan, mm? how they please Krishna by all of their loving services by singing and dancing in so many ways. Then that person, a feeling comes in his heart, an obsession. I want to love Krishna like the bridge bases, particularly one or another. They may be attracted to serve Krishna like his friends, or like his parents, or especially like the gopis of Vrindavan. When this obsession enters his heart, when this greed uh, to become like them comes into his heart, this is called Bhagavad Lila Madhurya Loba Mahishraddha, the faith which is based exclusively on greed. Mm? Now this person is hearing, chanting and remembering not out of fear and not because he thinks he will have to take birth repeatedly in this world but the impetus which initiates all of his devotional activities is simply a greed to love Krishna in the way that the residents of Vrindavan love him. So this type of Shraddha, this faith is the eligibility to begin the path of Raganuga Bhakti for which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world. Premarasa Nirjas Karite Yasudan Ragamarga Bhakti Loke Karite Pracharan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here to taste the praying, the loving sentiments of Srimati Radhika from her point of view, how she loves him. And for the sake of the world, he wanted to distribute Ragamarga Bhakti, the path of Raganuga Bhakti. So that path, it begins with the initial appearance of Loba Mahishadha, faith based on greed within the heart of the living entity. And it may come in the heart of anyone. Be careful. It may come in the heart of anyone at any moment. It, you cannot control it. It is quite independent. So I think that those who have come assembled here in the Furama, Hotel, they have some Sukriti. They must have so much Sukriti because on the way they're asking for Rama, for Rama, 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 Rama. <laughs> <laughs> so they chanted so much Nama Bas. And eventually they came to this place and sitting at the lotus feet of our Paramaradatam Guru Pada Padma, Om Vishnu Pada, Stodu Satsishimar Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Jai! Hari Who really is such a Vaishnava. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati. Kriyatam Yadi Kutopi Labyate, Rupa Goswami Padin Padyavali, and Srila Prabhupada actually, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he said, I have called my society ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, and this phrase Krishna Consciousness, I have took from this particular verse of Padyavali, the International Society for Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati. <coughs> it is a society for that. So then the verse goes on to explain that Kriyatam Yadi Kutopi Labyate, if such a faith, if such a greed is available in any place, then what should you do? Go there without delay. Kutopi, that means anywhere. If such a greed to serve lotus feet of Radha and Krishna is available anywhere, then without any caste or creed, without any denomination, without any institutional or constitutional considerations, at once go to that place, sit there and hear that Hari Kutar. And then there's a very good chance that if one will hear with honor that such a greed, which is so rare and so valuable, will enter into the core of one's heart.
dan Yusuf di Bandung dulu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna 
blue eyes and your smiling face. We wish you would come here to stay. But we know that you must be on your way.